When we do peel treatments, the sessions are generally almost always done once in two weeks. Each session would take around 15 to 20 minutes in which the face is first cleansed, after which the extract is applied. It's kept on the skin while the doctor watches your skin to see the response of your skin and a certain time will be reached when the doctor knows it needs to be neutralized. So after this is neutralized, you essentially feel almost nothing on your skin. You might feel a slight glow happening and from the next day or the day after that, you notice your skin uh, may be becoming slightly dry wherein there might be a little desquamation, a little exfoliation happening and if it was for acne we generally notice that from the second or third session onwards your skin starts to change really fast. If there were pre-existing acne on the skin they'd start disappearing, newer pimples do not come, even if they come they come smaller, go away faster, do not leave marks and generally acne per se can be expected to be healed completely within about three months I would say about six sessions or so and after that we decide on how to maintain it now whatever problem was there on the skin we treated it through peels got rid of it but a little maintenance is required because the person is essentially having a tendency to develop acne so there would be a maintenance that would be maybe a medicated cream or two that the doctor would suggest a proper face wash tips on how to take care of your skin so that the problem does not reoccur and even if there is some reoccurrence happening, you can always go back to peels. You will definitely not need as many sessions as you initially did. Maybe a session or two would help you get rid of whatever little breakout that you had. Or some people in severe cases or in very stubborn or resistant acne, we might suggest them to after a period of their initial three month therapy, they would get the peels done maybe once in a month or so to just keep the effect going and to keep your skin clear and nice. In terms of pigmentation, it tends to be a little more stubborn. We can expect pigmentation to clear completely also, but majority of the cases would see a vast difference happening, but the pigmentation may not clear completely. But then there are other ways of tackling it. We initially do chemical peels. We see the improvement happening. A lot of the epidermal pigmentation, which is pigmentation in the upper layers of your skin, gets very effectively tackled with the help of peels. And then whatever pigmentation is left behind, which is probably slightly deeper in your skin, the dermal pigment, we could manage that with the help of mesotherapy or with the laser technologies. So even pigmentation in about two or three months, we can expect it to lighten significantly. And some types of pigmentation which is present exclusively in the upper layers, that is only in the epidermis, like for example post acne marks or a skin tan or certain types of melasma which is your hormonal pigmentation, if it's present only in the epidermal layer it will clear off. In about three months time with the help of chemical peels it will clear off. In terms of anti-aging, the effects are slightly slower because we need to keep doing the peels uh, probably for two months, three months at 15 day intervals and after that when we've reached a certain strength we start doing them once a month but those once a month peels would be slightly stronger than what you did initially because you've reached the tolerance level and you can tolerate a slightly uh, uh, higher strength peel and that's when you would start seeing your anti-aging effects coming in. Anti-aging effects, it requires about six months or eight months for your skin to actually start uh, looking tighter or more glowing, fine lines to fade off. The early effects of anti-aging, which is just the dullness or just the patchiness of the skin or the dryness of the skin, that gets tackled within a session or two, generally, with the help of chemical peels.